Hi everyone, I'm Tina Pelto, high school principal here at Lorain County JVS, and I just want to welcome you to the 21-22 school year. Our goal this year is to make sure that we are here every day. Last year, we hated not having you here in the building every day. So this year, that's gonna be our number one goal. So in order to do that, we have put the mask rule back in place. I'm very sorry. Um, however, you know, know that it is our best opportunity to keep you here, to keep you from being quarantined, and to keep you in your lab, to keep getting those skills. So that is why. Some other things you need to know about as we start off the school year, um, Remember that on your school bus from your associate school, you'll also have to wear a mask. So make sure that you have one when you leave the house the first day on Monday. Lunches and breakfast are still free for every student all year long. Yay! Uh, we have opened up another lunchroom. So lunches will feel more normal this year, where you'll be sitting in the lunchroom with your friends having lunch. We have limited the chair, the tables to four chairs per table. So, so you'll kind of have to pick and choose. You don't have to know that on the first day or the second day. By the end of the week, we'll have that sort of flushed out so that you're sitting with someone you want to sit with in a place you want to be. The drinking fountains are still turned off, but the water bottle fillers are all open. So bring your water bottle and you can carry that through with you throughout the day. If for some reason you're not feeling well, don't come to school. It's so strange as a principal to tell you not to come to school, but um, we don't want you to get sick. We don't want you to be at risk. We don't want you to risk the health of anyone else in the building. So be sure to fill out that daily health assessment and um, don't come to school if you're sick. If you should be diagnosed with COVID or um, be told that you've been exposed to COVID, please call Mrs. Maley, our school nurse, and she can walk you through the process and let you know when you can come back to school. So for the first day, a couple of things. The bus will drop students off right in front of the doors. Um, the building will be open from very early in the morning. We have somebody here by 6.30, quarter to seven, so it's okay to come early. Parents can also drop students off right in front of the door. There will be people in the parking lot to help with directing traffic until everyone learns their way around the parking lot. Student drivers, if you already have your parking tag from orientation, then you can park in your assigned space. If you intend to drive but haven't gotten your parking tag yet, park in the visitor lot on the first day of school. Come on in, talk to Mrs. West in Student Services and she will get you a parking pass so that you can drive to school. If you plan to drive later in the school year but don't have your license yet and I'm speaking mostly to our sophomores, it's okay when you get your license, talk to Mrs. West and she can get you a parking tag at that time. Change in student uniforms this year. All students are able to wear all colors this year. So any JBS shirt, any color you want to. The only exception is if there's a safety concern surrounding your uniform. For example, in our precision machine lab, you can't wear long sleeves because it's a safety risk. So your lab teachers will talk to you about those particular safety concerns. If you have ordered a uniform already, then um, it should be here. It should be waiting for you in your lab. If you don't have a uniform from last year to wear, you can wear just anything that's school appropriate on the first day of school and that's fine, okay? Make sure to wear long pants because I don't want you in a situation in shorts where you could potentially get hurt in your lab. So make sure that you're in long pants. If you have a question about your schedule, Please see your counselor. You can fill out a slip and they'll get back to you. Just be patient, know that they're overwhelmed as the school year is beginning, but it will all fall into place by the end of the first week, not to worry. Canvas will continue to be used as our student learner um, management system this year. We, we bought that in two years ago and use it all through COVID. We'll continue to use it. Teachers will continue to post information there for students and parents, and they will also post their grades there. So parents, you can get an observer account and you can watch your students' progress in live time. So every time a, a teacher posts a grade, you're gonna, it's gonna be 
you're going to see that grade right away. That's the best place for you to get information about how your child is doing in the class. I will send out an email after this to all of you and it'll have the link for that Parent Observer account. Um, lastly, I just want to remind everyone to honor the trades. So here at the JBS, as a career tech school, you know, we value skilled workmanship. And we talk about that a lot and how important that is to us here in the school, how important it is to Lorraine County, and how important it is to the nation. And that means that you might not understand the trade that somebody else is learning, but know that it's valuable to all of us. And so we want to treat each other with respect at all times, you know, under that lens. Thank you for coming. We're excited to start the school year and we'll see you all on Monday.